Another president, a presidential election is just around the corner, and there was a lot for families to talk about this Christmas, from President Biden's historically low approval ratings to former President Trump's multiple legal battles. Janelle King is the co-founder of Let's Win for America Action and joins us now. Janelle, good morning to you. Merry Christmas. So on the one hand, you have historically <laughs> low approval ratings. On the other, you have 91 felony indictments. So how do you think these conversations went last night? Because it could be an indicator of how the 2024 election plays out. Well, good morning, Carly, and Merry Christmas to you. Um, you know, I I, the, I can tell you what my conversation was here in, in my home, um, and it was around voter apathy. I think that's something that we are not talking about. And a lot of it has to do with what you mentioned. You have Joe Biden that is just sitting here poorly, continuing to just descend, and no one is doing anything about it. And then you have on our side, you know, we're having to kind of position ourselves to defend some of these indictments that has come down the pipeline as well. Um, a lot of voters are feeling disconnected. And I do believe that that's something that's going to play a major role in 2024, um, a lot, especially when you start talking about these third party options. Um, but a lot of voters are feeling disconnected because when you look at their Christmas dinner, it didn't look the same. Um, there were some people that probably had to leave some things out and there were others who feel like, you know, the cost of what it, 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 it costs me in order to get the food to the table was just way too much. Not to mention there are a lot of people that are just uneducated around what's happening. You know, the Democrats are not having a primary at all, although there are primary candidates. So there's a lot of that going on. And then just like I said, the overall voter apathy, a lot of people just feel like, you know, they're not being heard, that the American people as a whole have been pushed out of the conversation. And who's leading it right now is people, you know, consultants and money and just a whole lot of other things that's not necessarily connected to the heart of the issues. So you mentioned the third party candidate. And just when you thought that everybody who had announced uh, that they're running for a presidential election in 2024 already has. You have West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, who is going to be speaking at this event in New Hampshire, typically reserved for presidential candidates. It's called Politics and Eggs. He has left the door open for running for president in the past. Here he is speaking to Sean Hannity. Take a listen to this. Is this two-month tour part of a tour for you yourself? Are you considering, would you consider running on a no-labels party for president in 2024? Well, Sean, first let me just say I'd never be a spoiler. I will never be a spoiler trying to throw the race one way or the other if it would be advantage or disadvantage. That's not who I am. So he said he doesn't want to be a spoiler. He didn't say he wouldn't run. What do you think is going to happen here? I think he is waiting to see what the how the numbers are going to shake out. Um, you know, a while back we had we saw a poll that showed that 70 percent of the overall voting electorate said that they wanted neither Biden or Trump. Now we're looking at around 21 percent of voters who said that they do not want Biden or Trump, and that's compared to about three percent that we saw in 2020. Not to mention. 41% of the voters, if you add, take an average of the Quinnipiac polls that came out, 41% of voters state that they're willing to vote for uh, Trump. It should, I'm sorry, they're willing to vote for Biden. Should uh, there be an indictment or some issues take place with Trump, as well as should there be a third party candidate that's not, you know, that they don't feel is strong enough. So here we are in a very interesting conundrum here. Um, so I, I think that looking at our independent voters is key. It goes back to what I said about the voter apathy. Mm -hmm. If they don't feel like they can be heard on the two party system, they're going to look at a third party system. And Joe Manchin is one of those individuals that I think can really shake some things up. He has a moderate record in a, in a grand state. You know, obviously he's voted a lot on the Democrat side, but he appears to be a little bit more moderate. And I think that's going to play a role for him. I know he's playing that up. Um, but I do think that he's testing the waters along with some other candidates that may be looking as well. Yeah, he's certainly been testing those waters from some time. Clock is ticking. <laughs> Maybe it's time to jump, dive in if you're going to. Janelle, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.